Kristen Johnson of richerexperiences.com and this video is about how I got off of benzos. Klonopin, that's what I was taking. I took Klonopin, I think every morning and every night for about two and a half years. Um, I was also drinking a lot. They actually, I didn't think I was abusing them at the time because I got them from a psychiatrist, but he asked me how much I drank and I lied to him. So they actually were prescribed for somebody who didn't drink as much as I did. And it wasn't until I got sober that I could see that I was actually abusing him in that perspective. Anyway, two and a half years is a long time to be on a benzodiazepine daily. The brain gets hooked right away. And I'm not a doctor, guys. This is just my personal experience. So if you actually are on benzos and you're going to get off, I suggest you go talk to a doctor. So actually, it was very tricky to get off benzos because, um, because the brain is highly addictive. There's a huge withdrawal. The withdrawal is shit tons of anxiety. So I was like literally shaking, like holding paper and like shaking like this when I was coming down off them. And I was under medical supervision. Uh, I actually was put on two separate meds for a year. I was on Neurotin and Trazodone. Again, this is not recommendation of meds, not a doctor at all, but this is just my experience. And so I was on those two meds for a year. And then when I got off those meds, there was still a little bit of a withdrawal from those. It took my brain a long time to come back to homeostasis to balance itself back out. Um, and so when I hear people say that they are just gonna play doctor themselves and just come off of benzos that they've been on for a while, I think it's really dangerous, you know? And so um, my experience is that I used to have agoraphobia, afraid to leave the house, which is the most extreme. I also had social anxiety, generalized anxiety. I had phobias. I was afraid to drive on the freeway, did not drive on the freeway for three and a half years after a car accident where I had a panic attack, so I had panic disorder. Um, and that's when I actually got on the Klonopin because I, because of the car accident. That's why I saw the doctor, the psychiatrist, uh, dog phobia. I was attacked by a dog when I was nine months old and I had a phobia of dogs until my twenties and I had a fear of public speaking. And so, um, and now I've been off of meds for six years. I'm seven years sober. So when I was one year sober, I was off meds completely. My experience is I don't have any anxiety disorders anymore. My experience is that it is possible to get off of all sorts of chemicals and to live a sober life. Uh, that the brain does rewire, will get rewired with certain practices like mindfulness and meditation. I have a whole playlist on YouTube um, called Anxiety and Fear and there's all sorts of things on there that will help you learn how to train your brain. Um, so that you don't have to be on the stuff anymore. You could face life on life's terms, that you can go after whatever you want. I learned in sobriety that I'm actually feel called to be a speaker, which was a surprise to the person who was always afraid of public speaking. And so my experience is that um, it is possible to get off the meds. It is possible to, you know, one day at a time to face the anxiety, to, to learn how to handle it differently so that you don't even have the issue anymore. Um, I think my biggest, uh, heartbreak with anxiety disorders is that people think they're fucked like that's it like I'm fucked for life and it's not true I thought I was when I was deep in it I it was like a downward spiral that just kept going and going and going I didn't know that it could stop or go up but the truth is the brain can re what get rewired you know like I'm a human I have a human brain and mine's been rewired so I know for a fact like fuck all the studies that say meditation might work it does work you know let's try it right now let's take three breaths together Let's close our eyes. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Let's exhale through the nose. Let's take another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Let's take one more breath through the nose. So you exhale, let's open the eyes. All right, there's the study meditation. Concentrating your attention onto one thing like the breath calms you down. You just had the experience probably. I just had the experience. I feel calmer. And so um, I just really want you to know, especially if you are on benzos and you're thinking about coming off them or you're getting sober or newly sober, it is possible for your brain to change. You just practice the tools and slowly your brain will change. It takes time, but you're worth it. You know, having an anxiety, a relatively anxiety-free life is worth it. Cause like before I would say if like anxiety is a scale of one to 10, I was at like 150 all the time, like so freaked out, terrified to leave the house. Right. Um, and now I get anxiety, but it's like a joke. It's laughable. I'm like, Oh, I'm nervous because it's like a two and I'm used to the 150. 
So we get anxiety, of course, because we're humans and we have all of the human emotions as part of being sober and off meds is we're going to feel because that's humans. Humans have feelings. One of them is the anxiousness, the anxiety, but you can learn to use that. So if you're nervous and you're going to give a speech, you need to learn to use that for energy because it's adrenaline and cortisol. It's actually giving us, our body has, has this energy. So it's like, it's the fight or flight response. So those chemicals are going into our system, which will allow us to run from the tiger or to fight the tiger. So we can learn to have a different relationship with the fear or whichever reason that would make you want to take benzos in the first place. Um, so guys, it's possible. If I can do it, you can do it. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below or send me a message. And just one more time, I gotta say it, not a doctor, and I do not recommend playing doctor yourself. Just wanted to share with you my experience and my hope that it is possible to recover from anxiety disorders and to get off meds and to live med free and relatively anxiety free. And not, not only that, like go after your dreams. Like I went from being agoraphobic, and again, just a regular human, went from being agoraphobic to moving overseas and living out of a suitcase as like a you know, traveling through Asia for um, six months traveling through Asia, but I live in Bali now, you know, and I was afraid to live the house before. I'm pursuing a career as a speaker and I was afraid of public speaking. I have lived with dogs and I was afraid of dogs. You know, not only did I get over my freeway phobia and start driving on the freeway, now I drive a motorbike on the other side of the street in Indonesia. So if my brain can rewire itself and do this not stuff, your brain absolutely can too. Um, all right, I hope you're having a good day. If you like this video, like it and share it with any friends that you think might be, might resonate with it. Bye.